When designing the new permanent premises of the International Criminal Court, the point of departure was to communicate trust, hope and, most importantly, faith in justice and fairness. The building should have the courage to be an ambassador for the credibility of the ICC. The project and its architecture should be impressive and grandiose, but should always relate to humans and the human scale. It is important that a formal institution like the ICC does not constitute barriers for people. On the contrary, it must express the very essence of democratic architecture. When viewing the site, it was evident that connecting the dune landscape with the edge of the city had a striking potential. By designing a compact building with a small footprint, we propose to return the landscape to the city and let the open spaces, the sky and the horizon be an integrated part of the architectural composition. Through the lightness and simplicity and the architectural design, we communicate the values of openness and transparency. The building is designed as a sculptural abstraction, a composition of six volumes firmly anchored to the site and rising from the surrounding dune landscape. The tallest of the volumes is the court tower that rises up as a green element. The architectural idea is to continue the cultivated parterre gardens from the ground floor level as a cladding on the court tower. Historically, gardens have always existed as part of all cultures and all religions. With flowers and plants from each of the 110 member countries, the Pater Garden rises up as a symbol of unity regardless of nationality and culture. The remaining volumes, the office towers, are draped in a tapestry grid almost like an embroidery. The office facade grid is designed with angle and cutouts which allows the light to reflect differently in an almost playful way. The overall architectural expression becomes an abstract and informal sculpture. A backdrop for communication. <laughs>